We did this audit because the province set a regulatory burden reduction target of $25 million to reduce unnecessary regulatory burden by December 2018. The province's Office of Regulatory Affairs and Service Effectiveness reported an estimated $34.4 million annual reduction in regulatory burden, which is 138% of its original target. I should explain that reducing regulatory burden, or red tape, means to remove outdated and overly complex requirements or rules that provide no value to businesses, government, or the general public. For example, changing a regulation to allow businesses to provide electronic documentation rather than paper allows them to save time and paper cost. Our audit looked at how effectively the province assesses and measures its regulatory burden reduction initiatives. To do this, we looked at whether the Office of Regulatory Affairs and Service Effectiveness has effective processes in place to assess and measure regulatory burden for businesses and assesses its business navigator program to know if it is meeting its objectives. Overall, we found that the Office of Regulatory Affairs and Service Effectiveness is doing a good job of having a thorough process to ensure that estimated savings are reasonably reported. The Office reviews estimates prepared by the departments and assesses the regulatory changes against a governing charter to promote better regulation. They prepare a report for Cabinet to assist officials in final decisions on any changes to regulations. The Office also has a program to help startups and existing businesses work through provincial regulations called the Business Navigator Program. Staff answer businesses' questions about regulations and have talked to almost 3,000 clients in their first two years. We looked at this program and found it is functioning well. The office created a plan, tracked progress against it, regularly monitored results, and took necessary action. Overall, the results of this audit were very positive, with only a few minor improvements needed. I am pleased by the results of our audit and I encourage the Office of Regulatory Affairs and Service Effectiveness to continue its good work. For example, they recently created a new target to have an additional $10 million annual regulatory burden reduction beyond the $34.4 million already reported. I hope that departments and the Office of Regulatory Affairs and Service Effectiveness will continue to work together to further reduce unnecessary regulatory burden for Nova Scotia businesses. I have left Nova Scotians with some questions they may wish to ask in relation to this audit.